Um, this semester, we worked on the design and manufacturing of ultralight lattice metamaterials inspired by nature. My name is Nur Yasser and I'm a computer science major. My name is Clay Gifford and I'm a computer science major. My name is Abhimanyu Patel and I'm a civil engineering major and we were mentored by Dr. Leo on this project. So for a brief introduction, uh, there's a lot of good research already out there for the beam-based metamaterials. Um, their advantages are that they're very lightweight and they have a highly customizable design. So uh, they're useful in space and aerospace applications, particularly where weight is of a concern. They do have a high specific energy absorption as well. So they're good for insulation and heat dissipation. So the goal of our research was sort of to figure out how we can further improve upon that concept and um, squeeze some better performance out of it while reducing the weight. And so we looked at the cross-sectional design for that. We started off by basing our research on previous research, which uh, had a body-centered cubic metamaterial with the different cross-sectional designs, which we, create, which we created data on by doing experimental tests. And we came to the conclusion that you can tailor properties by cross-sectional design. So this time we tried a cross-sectional design, which was inspired by a dragonfly uh, wing stem cross-section. The idea was that we bring two ellipticals together and remove the overlapping part. Uh, to do that, we used two major design parameters, which is the length of the major axis B and the offset Y0. Y0 is actually the center of the two ellipticals from uh, each other. So if you reduce Y0, you can see from chart B going to chart C and chart C going to chart D. And uh, if you increase or decrease the length of the major axis, you can uh, edit the size of the elliptical itself, as you can see between chart B and chart E. And on the left, you can see how our cross-sectional design relates more closely to the uh, cross-section of the dragonfly wing stem. So given that this is a complex problem in which we wanted to see how the cross-sectional shapes related to the beam properties, we decided to take a machine learning approach and use a linear regression model. Um, the linear regression model is used to minimize the margin of error, and it assumes a linear relationship between the input, which is the data stored in a file, and then the output, which is curated by the model. The steps that we took when it came to our code were importing the necessary data. We cleaned the data and then split it into training and test sets. We then inspected the data, normalized it, and then the linear regression model gave us the output. So we did use that linear regression analysis uh, with the mean absolute error, and we fed that into our neural network, and then we trained it to predict the cross-section performance. So as you can see in some of these charts, um, our predictions uh, versus the true values uh, performed very well in the model, so we used that to justify some of our design decisions moving forward. And two parameters that we were optimizing for, bending stiffness and strength, they both showed a similar trend. They increased as the offset over the length of the major axis increased, and the length of the major axis over the minor axis increased. For the cross-sectional analysis, we had a few design limitations, so we are comparing using the same weights uh, to keep a fair comparison. And as you can see, we've had a 15% improvement in bending stiffness and strength compared to the hollow ellipsis design. And we've had almost 40% improvement when compared to a solid ellipsis design. So based on the cross-sectional designs, we manufactured and attached the BCC metamaterial using an SLA process, which, which is essentially 3D printing the, um, the figures that we designed, and then we use them for testing later on. The results show that there's too much stress concentration at the joints, which is causing failure at the joints, which is why we cannot use the beam cross-sectional properties to the full utility. So we recommend reinforcing the joints so that we can use the beam cross-sectional properties uh, to their fullest. <laughs> 